One of the reasons that the Royal Challengers Bangalore have struggled as much as they have in the 2024 edition of the IPL is that their bowling unit just hasn't looked up to the required standards. And one of the reasons that they have been falling as short as they have been is down to the form of their key bowler in Mohammed Siraj. Now, Siraj had a fantastic IPL 2023 to the point where he ended up becoming pretty much undroppable across formats, whether that be T20Is, ODIs and even Test. However, his 2024 IPL seems to be going the way of his 2022 IPL where he was often very expensive, not among the wickets enough and was getting carted around the ground regardless of what phase of the match he bowled in. Given that 2024 was a T20 World Cup here, just as 2022 was, doesn't bode very well for Siraj, especially when you consider the fact that a lot of Indian young pacers, and I say young pacers for a reason, have been impressing. But is Siraj really bowling himself out of T20 World Cup at this point in time? Well, let's just go over some of his numbers, what it is that people are saying, and then draw to a rather more better nuanced conclusion than that. Now, first off, his numbers. In the power plays, it's safe to say that he has struggled big time. He so far bowled 10 overs in the power play and his numbers in those 10 overs do not make for good reading. He's only got the single wicket in this particular point in time. His average in the power, power plays is about 123 and his economy is 12.3, which is the most for any bowler in the IPL 2024 who's bowled about 30 balls in the power play. As I said, doesn't make for good reading at all. So what exactly could be behind this sudden slump in form? Well, according to one former Indian cricketer in Harbhajan Singh, one of the things that has affected Siraj as much is the fact that he's been badly overworked in recent times. And he does in some ways make a valid point when you go over just how much it is that Siraj has played. He was consistently playing ODIs, consistently playing even test matches. And don't forget, he played four out of five test matches that India had against England. So his workload hasn't exactly been managed that much in this particular cricketing season. And in his opinion, in Harbhajan's opinion, Siraj needs to rest. He said that if I was part of the RCB management, then I would rest Mohamed Siraj for a couple of games. He's not there mentally and physically also. I am sure Siraj will come back strong. Now, oftentimes there is this old adage that maybe you need to drop a player or you know, uh, give him a bit of a rest when things aren't going his way. And it is something that I do tend to agree with because oftentimes that simple break can just give you the time needed to reset and come back stronger. And that's exactly what a Harbhajan has su suggested. But can RCB afford to do that? And more importantly, can India, let's say, afford to not be with him in this year's World Cup? Don't forget, they're already without a Mohammed Shami. And if Shami was fit, then you were potentially going in with a bowling trio of Bumrah, Shami and Siraj. With no Shami there, Siraj's importance increases many fold. But so far, he's been having an IPL that has been nightmarish to say the least. Maybe a rest for a couple of games might do him good, but it would also expose RCB's rather brittle bowling lineup and bring in more players who may potentially get carted around for more runs without the experience and know-how to bounce back from this kind of form that Siraj does. It's a catch-22 situation when you're looking at it from the franchise country kind of perspective because if you're looking at it purely from an India perspective, then Siraj getting rest may very well be a good thing. But it may not necessarily be the best thing for RCB, which may mean that they plow on with him regardless, even if his form does not change, which doesn't really make for, let's say, a good reading if you're an Indian cricket fan, because again, if he continues to play and continues to get carted around like this, he may very well be in no good shape by the time the T20 World Cup comes around, which means that Bumrah aside, your pace bowling is very much hanging by a thread and is being held together by gum, gauze and duct tape. It's not a good time. Well, what do you think? Do you think Siraj should maybe be rested from RCB? Do you think if his form doesn't recover that he should be dropped from the Indian team? What are your thoughts on his form? You can let us know that in the comments below and don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, tap that bell icon, follow us on social media, we're on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Don't forget to download the Sports Tech app and if you're already on the channel, go ahead, check out some other videos we've posted too. For now, from my side though, it is goodbye.